Hey. YouTube Gold <laughs> Part 3. Today we are working on the shaker plant and the wash system uh, to wash the rocks and dirt. And we've never done this before. I've never done this before. We've done similar things like this before. Aquariums and stuff. And we're actually using an old aquarium pump. Check it out. Here is the pump truck I've been thinking of working on, right? Steve, tell me a little bit about this pump that we have right here. Uh, it's a DC powered 24 volt. Uh... A 24 volt. 24 volt, yeah. I'm going to run a, si a 6S LiPo in that. Yeah, that'll work fine. And that's 3,000 liters per hour. So uh, control right here, battery set up here. This is a 6S I am going to run, uh, but I might run it on a lesser battery because I don't really need all that kind of pump out of it. Uh, and then back down to here, I got this from a website called RC Model Design. I'll leave a uh, link in the video description box down below. And uh, through a myriad of different pieces, we're going to set up a wash system, hopefully today, that'll look pretty decent. I guess I should use the cutter. Okay, so these are the two pieces that we're gonna be using, the shorter one for the sluice box. Uh, the copper looks amazing. Here are the, um, the pieces we're gonna be using for the jets. Now, this is just a piece of hard plastic tubing. Uh, when I heat it up, I'm gonna be able to squeeze it down and adjust it that way. So super simple, super easy, uh, fairly cost-effective for this, even though this is a little bit more expensive, but I think in the long run, it's gonna look and act really well. I think the saw was a little faster. It was faster. You can see after lots of brainstorming here, we've been updating the design as we go. Of course, we've had to make another trip back to the store. You never get what you need the first run. Yeah, <laughs> you, you always seem to, to modify and adjust your plans. Lots of planning is going into it just of, you know, where the water lines are, where the RCs are gonna be driving, trying to keep everything out of the way. Uh, and then of course, keeping the piping underneath, underneath the sluice box, uh, running over to the pump truck right or the pump trailer right there Steve Steve yes. I'm, I'm gonna need this done in an hour because yeah ev every minute that we're not mining we're not making any money this is true a thousand so, bucks an hour at least so, so yeah money you know I'm never gonna get to my half ounce gold just sitting in the shop here Steve I'm gonna need more from you buddy I'm putting out what just I just freaking do it already okay <laughs> he knows I'm just kidding though he is my buddy <laughs> Steve, how long have you and I known each other? Uh, close to 20 years, I think. Yeah, yeah, long time. <laughs> Steve decided to come out and take up the RC hobby, get some stress out of his life, kick back, relax, spend way too much money, and laugh hysterically at things that we used to do when we were like 12. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good description. Yeah. I don't want to pop that PVC handle off there. Yeah, it overtakes that good. It's because of where this hole is located. Now it is located right here and it is shooting this way. So I can move it like to about here because it is shooting. It is shooting right about there. So that does give you yeah, more distance. You're gonna get lost over here though. You think so? Yeah. I don't think so, man. Because of the shoot, the way I watched it, it was, it was piling this way. Yeah. What I do typically when I glue is I'll put it all together, dry fit as tight as I can. Yeah. And then I'll mark it with a felt marker Smart. where they line up. Okay, so everything's square. Like that. Like that, make sure it measures up the other side. Just take this fitting here and then join these two. Yeah. Right, so yeah, it's, only gonna be support, same, it's only gonna be supported by this end. We have the same vision. Yeah, but it'll be very strong. It'll, it'll be, be very strong. Small amount like I said, you can always maybe run a support up down here somewhere. True. Okay, so we could use elbows right here, but in, in thinking that we may need some supports in the future, we're actually going to just do one of these and cap it off. Because I want to leave the option of me doing something with this uh, open for later. So like that. Oh, looking good, Steve. I like the piping here. That looks good. That's the part there. I'm thinking a, the frame's a bit too big, right? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm actually going to get in here and cut out about four inches on either side of these four bars and kind of bring this whole section in. Yes, good idea. Let's see how far out it sits. But once we got our nozzles that's on, that's okay. There, Plus, we're lifting it up. That, yeah, and we put that, the nozzles that's, on. That's It'll be beautiful, fine. I think. 
So here comes like the so. valve, yeah, and the union at the bottom. So this union, for those that don't know, that is like a coupler right here, right? I can undo this, unscrew it, and actually take this whole piece out on the bottom. And that's roughly where it's gonna go. There's a can in there, it's gonna hold it there. Thank you. So heat gun setting on low. We don't want to heat it up too fast or else it'll start to burn the PVC and that's not exactly what we're trying to do. Yeah, I can smell it now, hey, not, not too much though. Look how easy that slid on there. So now what it's going to do is that PVC will start to, um, to cool off and as it cools off, it'll start to shrink right around where it is. This is still going to leave it loose enough where, where this is, we're still going to be able to twist it and adjust the flow. Not. Yeah, it looks good, nice and strong. We can still turn the jets for the flow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so like definitely covering more than the first half a tray. Yeah, that's perfect where the flow is there. Perfect, first sprayer in on one side. Changing up the design a little bit to make it more strong. Still adjustable. What we're trying to do is we're going to be flattening out these pieces using a heat gun. There it is. So he's getting a general um, same opening across the board. You know, this is homemade stuff, right? So we're not going to be precise. We're just here to have a good time. Try to give that flow a little bit of restriction and give the rocks a good spray. Very nice. Now we just need five more. To simulate having a pond, this is the hose system that's going straight into the pump. Check it out, here is the setup. I haven't lifted the, uh, the sluice box yet, but Steve and I just noticed an epic fail on our part. Here, while we were designing, thinking of strength and everything, all this is gonna be painted, of course, like the, the piping it will be. Um, we put in these valves, of course, to control flow, and then bypassed it ourselves right up here like dum-dums. We're gonna have to put a valve, like a check valve, right there um, on either side, but no big deal, what do you think? Here we go with the controllable split, uh, spray bars. We can adjust them. Also on the back, sluice box is ready. I just gotta lift it up a little bit and we can run some dirt. We definitely need to dig this down in the future for when we're ready to actually run pay dirt. Everything has been super positive today, so we're, we're pretty sure that we're on it. We need to uh, obviously do a little bit of a pit here and adjust where uh, the pump trailer would actually go. Um, but got the 6S on there, extra piping's all strapped in. I hear it gurgling. Now this pump takes a little bit to snap into action, yeah? Yep, it does. Okay, pump's going. Not very much though. Definitely have some down here. Not a lot of pressure, got a leak right there. Everything is not glued. You guys, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are laughing at us right now, going, you guys are idiots. <laughs> All trial and error though. These aren't filled up properly here. There we go, they're a little bit too tight maybe. We need way more. These are working really nice, but we could use way more pressure there. Yeah, more full pressure too. It looks like the valves are open. I'm gonna need way more pressure than this. I actually feel like Todd Hoffman right now. I am so ready to mine and huge fail. <laughs> huge investment. We got a cut piece of pipe there on the yeah. feed line. Let's, let's, I think we can fix that and see if it helps improve anything. And we probably have a lot of air loss, right? Like look, that, that's pushing. Yeah, there's that's, a lot of water there. That's pushing there. water out. Yep. <laughs> this is coming along nicely. So this is with the bottom turned off. The, the leaky pipe is not helping us for sure. No. Okay, so a few things we're thinking here. Number one, like I was saying, the pressure may not have been enough in my from my shop. So we're gonna actually suck the water from a tub while this uh, is still filling the tub. It's gonna go through the filter, right into the pump itself. Number two, my LiPo battery wasn't at full charge and now I've got about 25 volts in here. So we're gonna try this one first and if not, I've got these to go in series. Hopefully that will give us a little bit more flow through and we fix the leak in the pipe over there. Okay, water goes on. 
Okay, so we removed uh, the back, so we now have a full one inch uh, intake. Putting the pump, ruining the scale effect that I wanted for you guys, but we kind of are getting closer and just testing it out. Uh, allowing it to take as much water as possible. Moving it over here, we did fix the uh, broken pipe over here. It's too bad we don't have the uh, secondary valve like I was chatting about up here so we could have pre-pressurized it and then opened it up. Um, but I, th I think we should test it out, man. Everything's ready to go. Okay, pump is going. Got plenty of water filling it up, clean water. Oh, nice, here we go. I don't see anything leaking out. Holy cow, there it is. Oh, looks like we could use some more pressure. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I can hear it kind of revving more and more. You could probably squeeze up the nozzles a bit to get a little pressure at the top. Look at this, that's an improvement. It's not amazing, but it's definitely washing in this small shaker. Running down. This is going to be one muddy mess. <laughs> Over the sluice, at least it's got enough flow. We could probably lift up the box a little bit and make it a little bit faster. A little leveler this way too. Yeah, so we got like an inch and a half we could use there. There we go. That leveled a bit. Closer and closer, man. Shall we move some pay or what? Let's move some pay. Yeah, like just give her a we shot. Got the actuator right there. <laughs> yeah. A good water flow running down the sluice. Huh? Yeah, I see that. We got yeah, plenty of water coming down. And it's actually turned down a tiny bit too, right? Good. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Here we go, Steve. First bucket into the wash plant. Whoa, my bucket stopped. My bucket stopped moving. What are the chances? Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on with the bucket? Equipment malfunction. Indeed. Are you kidding me? Right at that moment. Must be a hydraulic line. Too funny. Let's get another one. That's not a good sign, I don't think. First bucket. Hey, everything's got a little bit of a quirk to it, eh? Hey? A little. Here we go, reaching out, down. Beautiful. Is it washing dirt down the boss? That's good, all the big stuff's coming out here. I hear the belt. Maybe that was flipping a little bit, I don't know. I heard a squeal. Really bad bucket pressure. I think, think the belt got wet. Yeah, I don't see it shaking very much. It is shaking, the rocks are moving. Down we go, emptied out, come on bucket. This old excavator, just look at the dirt in here. Time for some service. Yeah, oh, the hose fell out. Go ahead, shoot it. It fell out. <laughs> it's sucking out so much. Faster than the hose can yeah, supply yeah. it. Okay, cool, here, let me see. Sorry. Don't be. Okay, so it Very is still scary. shaking. We definitely need to move the jets up higher towards the top, eh? Hey? They're a little bit too far away. And then I'll turn off the shaker here. Dude, hey, that's still a win, knuckles that. I might get a new bilge pump that pushes more because we definitely need more, um, more water flow here if all this dirt is still in here, hey? I would we're, think. We're getting to build up of boulders in this channel. Exactly, we need more pressure to more start pressure. pushing it out. Well, either way, that was still amazing. Good for a couple of buckets. <laughs> I call I call that a win for today, guys. Hopefully you're inspired. You're loving uh, YouTube gold. Please leave us a like, click for all today's work, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode of YouTube Gold slash RC Adventures. Now get outside and have some fun with RC. Bye. Always do. <laughs> I think you should be pre-sifting your pay dirt.
Oh yeah, we can't have that kind of vegetation in there anymore. Oh, no. That'll be the good thing of running it through the trommel. Vegetation and these. Yeah, well I can still run it through the trommel then, right? Oh yeah. And run then load the, the pay dirt then... from the trommel in yeah. here. Yeah, for sure. Is the goal. That would be the goal. And more water. We need to go to a creek. <laughs>